Sweet. Special delivery. Awesome. Thanks, man. <laughs> Model them. <laughs> oh, now you're gonna pick drop over and pick that up. <laughs> oh. Don't keep me, I'm an old man. <laughs> Folks, hope you enjoyed that. So that's how I brought my wood stove back to life there. Big shout out to my friends Cam and Savannah out of CC's Corner out in Richmond. That stove has been sitting on their yard for years. They're not really even sure where it came from, but when you look these things up, it's a Vermont Castings Aspen. Uh, brand new today, these things are actually about $1,600. So I'm super fortunate to uh, have gotten this thing for free. Now with that said, uh, even though that was free, the piping, the gaskets, the damper itself, um, all the actual accessories actually came out to about four to $500 or so. So it's still not necessarily the cheapest venture or anything like that, but it's all for the sake of keeping me warm, right? So well worth it in my opinion. The install is, is not quite there yet. It's actually in fact probably a little bit sketchy and stuff for sure. However, I did have a carbon monoxide detector and a fire extinguisher at my side at all times throughout the process. That said, a couple of issues are that my clearances have to be respected a little bit better. Down by the stove itself, I actually have non-combustibles on most of the walls. However, above that by the pipe, uh, because the pipe is just so much bigger than, than what it was in the G stove beforehand, uh, that the pipe is actually much closer to the wall. And what I have to probably do there is replace in the tongue and groove pine uh, with with non-combustibles like more cement backer board or something like that. I maybe throw an Imperial heat shield, not like the Star Wars one, but like the one from the company Imperial uh, onto the pipe itself and hopefully protect uh, the heat from the wall there. Furthermore, uh, the piping outside, it's actually uh, double barrel piping, which is great. Uh, and I did actually have a third section. 
However, that particular third section wasn't actually fitting properly. I think it's defective, so I am gonna exchange that. So before folks slander me on that, I just wanna mention that, you know, that is being fixed and stuff as well. So uh, a couple of remedies before I light the next fire. The major question I'm sure folks are probably asking is why did I even change up the stove in the first place, right? The G stove does do a great job in heating the place up. However, the main thing is that every two or three hours in the evening, I usually have to either add more wood or oftentimes I'd actually you know, sleep past that and then have to relight a fire altogether, um, which is quite cumbersome and annoying when it comes down to uh, getting some sleep. So uh, I actually changed it in hopes that I would get a longer night's sleep. I'm actually gonna have a full video on this and I'm actually gonna do a head-to-head -head comparison where I'm actually looking at a somewhat scientific test where I raise it to a certain temperature and then just let it fall and see you know, how the two react. I actually uh, filmed a thermometer beside a clock and kind of have a full uh, breakdown, both of them and stuff. So that's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna save that for next week so I won't get too into that. However, I will spoil a little bit in saying that I did get a really nice night's sleep there. So uh, yeah, all in all, I think for me, this is well worth it. Um, it's a great stove and I'm super pumped. Uh, I have an operation now. So yeah, thank you so much for checking this out. Um, if this provided value for you, you know, give it a thumbs up down below. Uh, feel free to subscribe for the content that's coming next week and more, build, more fun builds to come as well. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, sorry it's been a bit, but uh, more to come. Take care. Peace.